What's up guys? Steve here again. We're on our uh, episode two of our weekly shop walk. Friday uh, end of the week tour here. See some of what we've done this week, some of what we got going, and some of what we got coming up. Uh, behind me here, we got this uh, brand new T880 dump truck for PGH excavating. Uh, this is a quick one, they just dropped this off last week and we're going to turn it out tomorrow. Uh, just a few things to it here. Throwing down some bumper lights. Um, they're not on yet, but did seven uh, bus lights on the roof, shaved the roof, putting on a visor. Got our PCT Harley mirror lights. Uh, we did full fenders on all, all three pushers. Some whole built quarter fenders on the drives. And uh, pretty much finished it up with some melons in the back of the cab. All the lights on here are Roadworks Hero lights. Uh, this is our first go with them. And uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. They look nice, pretty bright. Hopefully they hold up. Um, as you can see here, we got we got another dump truck for next week. We're gonna start on for another outfit up in the northwest. A little 389 project. Got a couple more of them coming. Um, see, we got we still got flat top X in the background. Two uh, yellow crane stand ups. Both of them are just about done. Here's one nobody's seen yet. It's a little in-house project. Long hood, 81A model service truck. Got a B model cat in it. It's gonna be pretty sick when it's all done. So, uh, we're gonna take a little walk over to the new shop. That's what everybody seems to wanna see. Uh, this chassis right here is for uh, buddy of mine, Grant Imlac, built a truck for him, uh, I don't know, seven, eight years ago now, and uh, this is going to be his new one, it's a 2013 Pete, uh, 389, it's been glidered, uh, got a 6NZ in it, or actually it's 2WS E model, uh, we're going to do a motor swap again, do a converted A-cert, uh, pretty much gonna go hog wild with it got that 99 peach and cream sitting out here waiting to get finished again out in the weeds you see we got we got a couple more over here on the side we probably got like 30 trucks on the lot right now spread around um, the 19 389 wreck here hay truck got flipped we got another 379 it got uh, clipped in the side pretty hard you can see here got to do a whole hood tank battery box stack it got wadded up pretty good got this big old heavy haul outfit here it's another crane truck waiting in line another project a couple more over here it's our one of our X's it's in the process Well, here we are, walking up on this place. It's pretty big. It's uh, 200 long, 100 wide. It's uh, 33 feet tall at the eaves, so we got tons of height. Part of it's uh, two stories, as you'll see in a minute here. If we can get in the door, apparently that one's locked. So. We got a whole whole bunch of junk laying out here at the moment till we get uh, till we get moved in. See if we can find a door here that's open. Hey, this one's got keys. Oh yeah. Now we just gotta find a way to turn the lights on. All right. Well, we finally figured out how to turn the lights on. So, see, this is our gonna be our main shop bay. 
guys are still working on the other side there but uh 10,000 square feet in here it's 100 square uh, there's a mezzanine on that side half of that's gonna be offices the other half's gonna be storage up above uh, see we'll wander over here you can get a shot of the body shop these guys are working on our wiring Pretty nice. About 5,000 square foot in there. See, we're building a custom spray booth. And uh, we have to get a bicycle here. It's a long damn ways to walk. We're gonna be out of breath by the time we get over here to the fab shop. Fab shop. So, be killer. They're welding this up a frame for the door at the end there, and we'll be all sealed back up. Uh, 50 by, uh, by 100 in here, and then uh, we'll go upstairs. Really get a good look at the proportions. Storage area, future offices, and uh, the rest of the shop. This place is huge. You get two or three trucks in it, though, it'll fill right up. So that's pretty much the. The inside of the new shop here. Try not to fall down the stairs. We'll uh, close this back up and uh, I'll take you out back and we'll see uh, what kind of stuff we got out there. All right, made it back out here behind the new shop. You can see we got a we got them piled up here. A lot of these we've already seen. Uh, got the AZ dairy truck in for a couple touch-ups. We got the old pride and the new pride truck uh, Old pride still waiting new prides Getting a couple tweaks on it spring conversion. It'll be gone next week uh, We still got the Dickerson truck out here in storage uh, Water truck old 359 another truck waiting in line a couple car hauler racks uh, and we got this 84 359 here this truck's damn near brand new all the way through it's about 80 percent together at the moment um, it's gonna be pretty cool it's pretty much gonna be original all new interior going in it it's got a big cam in it 13 uh, the guy wants it pretty much showroom accurate to the way he bought it brand new back in 84. Pretty much the only difference is it's going to have straight stacks instead of the originals, but everything else is about the, about the way it would have been originally. So, well, that's pretty much it for uh, this week's shop walk here. Uh, Hopefully we'll get some of these out, probably five of them out next week. We'll get some new stuff in and you'll get to see something a little bit different. Um, till then, stay, uh, keep visiting the website, picketcustomtrucks.com. It's going to be plenty of updates coming real soon for that. And uh, till then, let's keep on trucking. <laughs>